Yes, hello Kenyans. Welcome again to this channel. I want to thank you so much because of your great support towards this channel. Today I want us to talk about uh, when it comes to the running mate of William Ruto. There are now three candidates that are being put on a limelight when it comes to being nominated or being selected as the uh, persons that are going to deputize William Ruto's candidacy. As you know that William Samuiruto is a person and a candidate, in fact a politician that is very careful when it comes to nominating or electing someone that is going to work with him. First thing that he uh, is always looking after is this person that uh, is not a person that uh, is looking a person that is going to be trusted with the, of course Kenya Kwanza Brigade. And uh, I think uh, the secretariat that has been put pl on place when it comes to Kenya Kwanza Alliance to decide whoever is going to be the running mate, uh, th I think they are coming to a, a conclusion that I think is uh, closely before the end of uh, the, the, the end of this uh, April. I think things are going to come out. But the truth to be said, we want us to uh, try to analyze the three. The candidates that now are being put on a limelight when it comes to the, the, the person that is going to deputize William Samuruto. And of course we are having um, we are having three candidates uh, currently. This is the governor of uh, Kirinyaga County, that is Anwai Guru. And we are having the Madira MP, that is uh, Rigadi Geshagwa. And we are having the senator of uh, Tarakanithi County, this is Kimbike Kiture. And I think these candidates are uh, good, especially according to my rating. I rate them like people that uh, at times when it comes to the politics of Mount Kenya region, they have been seen on a limelight when it comes to their politics. And of course they have been elected as the leaders, especially by the residents of Mount Kenya region. I want us to, uh, to start with the politics of uh, uh, Rigadi Gashagwa. Rigadi Gashagwa is uh, having a big loss after Anuai Guru and Kindike Kiture are being put uh, on, a limelight, uh, on a limelight after the consultation and after the negotiation between the secretariat that has been uh, elected to ensure that whoever is going to uh, be nominated as the running mate of uh, William Ruto is a person that is going to bring something on the table, is a person that is going to be trusted, number two. And number three is a person that when it comes to his loyalty, when it comes to his or her politics, is a person that has not been too much of insultment, is not a person that uh, at times in part of uh, our country is being uh, seen like a person that is not selling his or her agendas, but is a person that has something that great that will benefit whoever is going to deputize. So according to the secretariat, they are putting uh, Rigadi Gashagwa outside that race where Rigadi Gashagwa has been uh, told to go and concentrate in his uh, Madeira constituency to ensure that he is going to defend his seat. But when it comes to Kendike Kiture and Anwaiguru, the opinion poll, Kindike Kiture is not being put on a limelight so much, but there was a recent opinion poll that has been done by Tifa and uh, is putting Anwai Guru with 31%. And Rigadi uh, Gashagwa is coming second with the 13%. It means that uh, these people is likely to settle on Anwai Guru because Anwai Guru has uh, uh, her politics profile that has been uh, known for some period of time across the Republic of Kenya. But the truth to be said, uh, the way I understand this opinion poll of Tifa is rightly and at the right time putting, putting Anwai Guru as the past, first person when it comes to person to be likely to be deputized William Samiruto. But we want to see as the, the, the scenario where when we put Anwai Guru, then under Rika Digashagwa, 
Anwai Guru is a person that, uh, uh, when it comes to across the Republic of Kenya, is a person that uh, her politics is well known. Though he, uh, she has been having a lot of scandals, uh, the other time when uh, she was in the sector of uh, the National Youth Service, where she was accused of misusing and uh, misappropriate uh, of uh, public resources, and I think, I don't know where the case has uh, reached, but uh, according to my understanding, though she has passing a lot of challenge when it comes to the cases of the uh, uh, case in the courts, but the truth to be said, Anwe Guru is a sure bet. When it comes to, when you read Anwe Guru, and regarding Gashagwa, Anwe Guru is having certain mileage than regarding Gashagwa. So I think even when it comes to uh, uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, they better go with Anwai Guru than going with Rigadi Gashagwa because Rigadi Gashagwa's politics has not, yes, he has been notified since uh, recently he started uh, having politics with William Sonoruto. But the truth to be said, Anwai Guru has been known for a certain period of time since 2013. And I think when it comes to her mileage and uh, votes, she can manage to encounter the part of Azimula Moja, if they are going to also nominate a woman as the running mate. But according to me, William Someruto is a bit settling and uh, is settling with the, when it comes to the candidature of uh, Anwe Guru. So I think uh, William Someruto is a bit comfortable having Anwe Guru as uh, his deputy than uh, Rigadi Gashagwa. So actually, we are waiting time to tell, but the truth to be said is that, um, according to me, politically speaking, I prefer uh, that uh, William Samuruto to work with the Anwai Guru than to work with Rigadi Gashagwa. Number one is that uh, Rigadi Gashagwa is not going to counter the running mate that is going to be uh, nominated if Martha Karua or Peter Kenneth or even Peter Munya in the Mount Kenya region. So whoever is lately possible to encounter the Azimula Umoja's running mate, this is only Anwai Guri, or if possible, maybe Kindike Kituri from Tarakaniti County. And I think this is the best candidate from Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. So according to me, Kenyans, the candidates that are going to be nominated in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, possibly number one is Anwai Guri. Number two is Kindike Kituri. Other ones, I don't think. And I want you to concentrate very uh, carefully. And you're gonna see. And after this, after the nomination of this or electing the running mate, you'll come back at this video and you'll recommend and say that I was telling you the truth. The only people that are going to be seen as uh, people that are having so much influence, this is the only Anwai Guru and Kitike Kituru. So we are waiting time to tell, because uh, yes, it is a big loss to Rigadi Gashagwa because. He was expecting that he was going to be nominated as the running mate of uh, William Ruto, but it is not so because these two candidates of Anwe Guru and Kindike Kiture is rubbishing and putting out the candidate of Rigadi Gashagwa. So Kenyans, what are your intent? Are you preferring Anwe Guru or Kindike Kiture? Or are you supporting that the way Rigadi Gashagwa is not being given that chance? So you can settle with one or ever, either you can prefer two. You can prefer Anwai Guru or Kindike Kiture. You can drop your opinion and reasons at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to thank you so much because of your great support. Continue supporting this channel. Continue sharing, commenting. If you're a visitor, ensure that you subscribe. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified automatically by YouTube. Of course, in this channel, we analyze people politics, we give our opinions and reasons the way we understand politics across the Republic of Kenya. For those who are returning subscribers, thank you so much. God bless you. Till next time. Bye-bye.